welcome back to the dude's kitchen and grill and today we have something for you I think you're really gonna like you know it's Tuesday which is typically taco Tuesday but today we're doing tostada Tuesday and the reason why we're doing it is well the same reason why I have license plate to say Das dude on it why not you know recently I was on a talk show as the featured guest and man let me tell you it was fun if you ever get a chance to check out these talk shows on YouTube I highly recommend doing it and somebody asked me why do you always cook outside and I said why not right same thing with making tostados on a Tuesday why not right of course immediately somebody near and dear to us called me a slacker but not only just a slacker but the king of the slackers so if you're a slacker this is a channel for you I'm his dudeness welcome to the dudes kitchen and grill it is nice to meet you We start our cook with about a pound of ground beef. Next part of the cook is a can of beans. Now, I did put some oil at the bottom of this and a can of whole diced chilies. Perfect. Let's start the smoker. Now that we have the burger and the beans on the smoker, I crank the heat to 325. Right now the smoke is just rolling off that smoker. And that extra smoke is just gonna add that much more flavor to our meat and beans. All right, let's keep cooking. By the way, if it's your first time here, please consider subscribing and ringing that bell for notification and become a slacker just like the rest of us. All right, let's keep cooking. We're still hovering at 325. We've been on here for about 20 minutes. I think it's time to start mixing the meat up a little bit, just like that. Oh, it's looking good. Looking good for a slacker, huh? Check out our beans. Get them all mixed up as well. Whew, I'm gonna have to get a longer spoon for this. That's looking good. All right, let's keep cooking. 20 minutes at 325 is just about perfect for the meat where we want it right now. So as you saw, we went in there, we mixed it up, we took the beans, we mixed it up too. I actually tasted the beans and it reminded me when I was a kid camping with my grandpa on the Klickitat River in Washington. Great memories, guys. All right, you know what time it is? I think it's time for Zoe Moment. We're changing the name of Zoe Moment. It is now the Zoe Cam. <laughs> Without further ado, here's Zoe. Enjoy. All right, another 15 minutes is down. Meat's looking good. Let's check out our beans. I think they're done. Just give them a quick taste. Woo! They're done. We're gonna remove them. I'm gonna add in about a half a cup of water, some taco seasoning. Mom, well, because it is basically Taco Tuesday, right? Except we're doing tostadas. Give it a good mix. I think it's time to make our tostado shells though, so let's start on it. For our tostado shells, I'm just using the white corn street taco shells. Just put them down like that. I'm going to take some cooking spray, spray each one. Now if I was doing this over an open flame, I probably wouldn't do them here on the grill, but because it's not an open flame, I'm okay. Spray down both sides, perfect. All right, we are going to let these cook down. Did you like the Zoe Cam? Man, what a slacker. She just fits perfectly in with this channel and me. All right, to recap, so we took the beans off because they're hot. We can always reheat them, right? And I don't want them to dry out. We added half a cup of water and taco seasoning to our ground beef. Then we took some white street taco shells that are made of corn, put them onto the grill on the smoker, and sprayed them down, flipped them over, and did it again. Now, we really need to watch these things because they can burn real quick. Let's get back to cooking and checking out our tostada shells. All 
Our shells have been on for about 15 minutes. I think it's time to give them a flip. They're starting to get a little uh, hard around the edges, but that's okay. We're going to give them another 15 minutes or so and check them out. The meat's done, the tostadas are done, and it's been 30 minutes. I think it's time to plate and eat. All right, let's do it. I think our tostadas are done. I mean, look at that. There's no limp in that. Got good sound. I like it. Let's eat. Before we plate this up, I just wanted to show you the meat. Now, it didn't go fast and furious and cook on top of stove. No, it went slow on the smoker. And you know that smoke just incorporated in here. Oh, it's going to be so good. All right, let's plate it. We want to lay our base down on this, so we're just going to put some beans down. Spread it around, because that's what's going to kind of hold everything together. I'm going to grab some meat and put it on there. Oh, look at the hat. Looks good. You could put sour cream or whatever you want. I like guac, and I also like pico. That is what I'm talking about right there. Let's eat this. We did this, all of this on the smoker. Check it out. It's holding up really well. Let's try it. Mmm. That's good for a slacker. That is absolutely amazing. Mm. You get the beans with the chilies in it. You get the hamburger with the taco sauce in it. The pico and the guac. Perfect. All right, you saw how we made it. Super easy. We made it outside. Got our sign back up. I just thought I'd do it for this one episode, right? Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and ring that bell for notifications. Special thanks to Patty Style Productions for editing this video. They do such a great job in Melbourne, Australia. Love them to death. We made tostados. Tostados? Tostados? For a Tuesday. Instead of Taco Tuesday, I'm declaring it Tostada Tuesday. All right, we'll talk to you later. Remember, stay safe out there and enjoy your tostadas. I think Zoe wants some. Sorry, cuz.